Now the next part. After we are done with step number three, our Google Sheets somewhat look like this, in which column A, B, C, D, E, F are done. Clear? So we have applied just a formula for total after discount. Now it is the time to calculate sales tax. Sales tax are nothing but these are additional taxes that are there on each and every product that is purchase or sell in the market. In India, it is called as GSU or value added tax. Done. So over here, I am writing it as a plain sales tax. Now, as per the presentation, research your sales tax. So when you Google it, it might be 12%, 16% of the sales tax in India. We will be assuming a constant figure. That means we will be taking 12% as the sales tax. Use a formula to calculate the sales tax. Now, over here, how to calculate the sales tax? A very simple formula over here, equal to. I will be taking total discount and I'll be multiplying it by 12% because as I said, I am assuming that the value added tax or GST in India is 12%. Now, select this particular part and drag it down. That is something that I'm doing auto fill over here. One more time. How to go ahead with it? First, equal to sign. Once you put equal to sign, you have to select total after discount. That is this particular part. So it automatically shows that it has been selected and you will be able to see in blue color, you are able to see 2565. Then I will be putting a multiplication sign. Multiplication is nothing but asterisk and I'm assuming that it is 12%. 12% of the tax we have to pay to the government. So this is nothing but 307.80 in rupees and then I will be able to do autofill via dragging it down or just copy paste this particular formula in all the cells. How to copy paste it? We are very much aware about it. So there are two choices given to you. First is either autofill or control C, control V. Control V, Control V. I'm just pressing Control V and then I'll be showing you auto fill. So in this particular manner, we have already calculated the sales tax. And in the next part, we will be focusing on the next two columns that is added fees and subtotals.